Hello, and welcome to yet another episode of the Automation Lab. I'm Andy, and we hope you're doing well at home, and that you've been enjoying this web series while everything blows over. For this episode, we'll be talking about Industry 4.0. Industry 4.0 has been a hot topic in industrial automation for the past decade or so. As the name implies, it refers to the fourth industrial revolution. The first industrial revolution saw the invention of the steam engine, resulting in steam powered machines taking over production with more efficiency. The second was powered by the use of petrol and the introduction of electrification and the rapid growth of rail networks. The third was the digital revolution, where advancements in digital electronics were incorporated into the factory and manufacturing systems. Industry 4.0 aims to connect the systems involved in between customer orders to product delivery, using new communication technologies to automate the systems and maximize efficiency, bringing about further increases in productivity as seen in previous industrial revolutions. For example, suppose you order a watch online. You are able to customize it to your liking, from the color and type of straps and frames, to even having a name engraved on the back. There's a system that captures that order and sends it to the production line to begin production. At the watch factory, machines that manufacture the watch can communicate with each other and with the server to receive your order information throughout the entire production process. If a material is low on stock, the machine will automatically alert the backend system to place an order to suppliers who will send new stock in time for manufacturing to continue unimpeded. The server is also collecting huge amounts of data from all the machines and systems which are analyzed to improve overall production efficiency and customer experience. While all this is happening, you are able to track the progress of your order on your smartphone, from the specific production stage and delivery status, until you receive your customized watch. But of course, this scenario requires the implementation of many systems and technologies, all of which would take way too long to cover in this episode. So instead, let's refer to the Singapore Smart Industry Readiness Index here. As you can see, it covers 16 different dimensions in order to realize an Industry 4.0 solution. Companies can refer to this index to evaluate where they currently stand in their journey towards Industry 4.0. That said, Industry 4.0 is more than just implementing automation in your production floor. It is also critically important to first examine the corporate business objectives and establishing the benefits to be gained as a company from such projects. From an automation provider's perspective, there are two distinct categories of customers that can be defined, machine manufacturers and their end customers. In other words, the end customers of the automated machines. In the manufacturing sector in particular, there is an obvious interest in reducing the in-house production costs, both through efficient and reliable production control, as well as reducing the number of rejects produced. The traditional machine maker pursues very similar objectives and above all is interested in reducing the cost of the machine whilst maintaining or even increasing production quality. Some other rewarding goals include optimizing the machine's energy consumption, optimizing production cycles, enabling predictive maintenance, and enabling fault diagnostics. The last two points in particular 
offer the machine manufacturer a solid basis to establish services that can be offered to end customers as an additional revenue stream. Of course, what both customer categories ultimately want is for the machine or product to be designed more attractively and to increase competitiveness in the marketplace. So before you embark on your journey towards Industry 4.0, do remember to review with your team the clear objectives, which will help greatly in your planning and implementation. One customer that has implemented an Industry 4.0 concept is Nobilia. A kitchen manufacturer in Germany, Nobilia produces customized kitchen designs, meaning that each kitchen design is unique. When a customer confirms the design, the design drawings enter the system and are translated to information that the machines understand. Hence, when raw material enters the production line, the machine knows which order this material is for and what is to be done to it according to the customer's design. The production line's systems communicate with each other and information is shared to ensure smooth production and traceability. Well, that's all the time we have for, for this week's episode. We hope you enjoyed this episode and learned a lot more about Industry 4.0. And until next time, please like, share and subscribe.